Book of Enoch the Prophet, chapters 6 through chapters 11. The fall of the angels, the demoralization of mankind, the intercession of the angels on behalf of mankind, and the dooms pronounced by God on the angels, and the messianic kingdom from a fragment from the Noah fragment. And it came to pass, when the children of men had multiplied, that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives from among the children of men, and beget us children. And Semjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations, not to abandon this plan, but to do, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred, who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon, because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And these are the names of their leaders, Semyazaz, their leader, Arakiba, Ramiel, Kokabiel, Tamael, Remael, Denel, Ezekiel, Berakijel, Azael, Amaros, Betarel, Ananel, Zekiel, Samsapiel, Setarel, Turel, Jomjael, Sarael. These are their chiefs of tens. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives. And each chose for himself one. And they began to go into them and to defile themselves with them. And they taught them charms and enchantments, and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. And they became pregnant, and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells. Who consumed all the acquisitions of men, and when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. And Azazel taught men to make swords, and knives, and shields, and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth, and the art of working them, and bracelets, and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all coloring tinctures, and there arose much godlessness, and they committed fornication, and they were led astray, and became corrupt in all their ways. Semjaza taught enchantments and root cuttings, Amaros taught resolving of enchantments, Berakaijel taught astrology, Kokabel taught constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds, 
Arakiel, the signs of the earth. Shamziel, the signs of the sun. And Sariel, the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried. And their cry went up to heaven. And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said one to another, The earth, made without inhabitant, cries the voice of their crying, up to the gates of heaven. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their suit, saying, Bring our cause to the Most High. And they said to the Lord of, age, of the ages, Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings, and God of the ages, the throne of thy glory standeth unto all the generations of the ages. In thy name holy and glorious, and blessed unto all the ages. Thou hast made all things, and power over all things thou hast. And all things are naked and open in thy sight. And all things thou seest, and nothing can hide itself from thee. Thou seest what Azazel hath done, who hath taught all unrighteousness on earth, and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men were striving to learn. And Samjaza, to whom thou hast given authority to bear rule over his associates, and they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth, and have slept with the women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins. And the women have borne giants, and the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. And now, behold, the souls of those who have died are crying and making their suit to the gates of heaven. And their lamentations have ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds, deeds which are wrought on the earth. And thou knowest all things before they come to pass. And thou seest these things, and thou dost suffer them. And thou, and thou dost not say to us what we are to do unto them in regard to these. Then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One spake, and sent Uriel to the sons of Lamech, and said to him, Go to Noah. Tell him in my name, hide thyself, and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed, and a deluge is about to come upon the whole earth, and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape, and his seed may be preserved for all generations of the world. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azazel hand and foot, and cast him into the darkness, and make an opening in the desert, which is in the Dudwell, and cast him therein, and place upon him rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him abide there for ever, and cover his face, that he may not see light. And on the day of the great judgment he shall be cast into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted, and proclaim the healing of the earth that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel 
to him ascribe all sin. And to Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the, the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth. Send them one against the other, that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days shall they not have, and no request that they or their fathers make of these shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live five hundred years. And the Lord said unto Michael, Go, bind Samjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women, so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth, till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire, and to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined for ever. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from thenceforth be bound together with them to the end of all generations. And destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers, because they have wronged mankind. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth, and let every evil work come to an end, and let their plant of righteousness and truth appear, and it shall prove a blessing. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy for evermore. And then shall all the righteous escape, and shall and shall live till they beget thousands of children, and all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace. And then shall the whole earth be tilled in righteousness, and shall all be planted with trees and be full of blessing. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it, and they shall plant vines on it, and the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine in abundance. And as for all the seed which is sown thereon, each measure of it shall bear a thousand. And each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil. And cleanse thou the earth from all oppression, and from all unrighteousness, and from all sin, and from all godlessness, and all the uncleanness that is wrought upon the earth, destroy from off the earth. And all the children of men shall become righteous, and all nations shall offer adoration and shall praise me, and all shall worship me, and the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement, and from all sin, and from all punishment, and from all torment and I will never again send them upon it from generation to generation and forever. And in those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heaven so as to send them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men.